Ever wonder why some people have more time? In today's video, I'm going to be explaining the basics of time management. We all want to improve our time management. Even looking at this, where you can organize your day and get more of the right things done, it really does lead to a happier, more purposeful life. The very thing that we want to start with is why do we want better time management? What are the problems that we face? We don't want to live under that heavy weight of procrastination and distraction. We see so many times where we just don't prioritize our tasks and it makes us feel overwhelmed. And we know some of the things like we never say no when someone asks us to do something or we struggle with our focus and we have a short attention span or possibly we're just surrounded by clutter. This video, we're going to try to help you get out of that stress, that overwhelming exhaustion and learn how you can improve your time management. So let's start with the very basics. What's the definition of time management? This is my definition. I believe that time management is a process of planning the length of time you'll choose and deliberately focus your attention starting and finishing one specific activity. Let's go through that again. Time management is a process of planning the length of time you will choose and deliberately focus your attention starting and finishing one specific activity. As you use that as a guide, I want to break this down into the seven steps and walk you through them. So grab your pencil and let's talk about them one at a time. What is time management? It's a process. The good news is it's a process that you can learn. It's implementing repeatable processes and systems that you can depend on. So you're not just reacting to things, you're proactively taking control of your time. Time is your most valuable currency. So we need processes. The second part of this is that time management requires strategic planning, not only over a five year, one year and monthly, but it requires strategic planning every day. You need a plan of action. What is your goal for today? What is that plan that's going to take you from morning to evening where you can feel like you've accomplished something? We have to have a plan. And in my case, I believe we have to have a written plan. And part of that is prioritizing your tasks. One of the most important parts of planning your day is writing down the tasks that you need to accomplish and then prioritizing those tasks in order of importance. The third step, which a lot of us miss, is how long is that task going to take to complete? How long is each thing on your to-do list going to take? Look at your day. How many hours do you have in the day? How many meetings? How many other things are going on? Because we need to know, do we really have enough time today to start and finish that task? The fourth thing is that we have to then consciously choose which task we're going to put on our to-do list. And I mean really consciously. We can't just pick up what's ever closest or loudest. We need to feel like we have autonomy in choosing the task that we want to focus on today. But then we have to learn how to increase our focus. We have to learn how to concentrate again to get rid of the distractions, turn off the phone, turn off the email, go to a different location so that you can focus attention. And that attention needs to be focused on one specific task. We can't jump back and forth. We can't have selective attention over here and then attention over here. We need to learn how to focus on one task until it is completely finished. Completely finished. So it's a process. It's a process of planning. It's a process of prioritizing that plan and knowing how long each task is going to take. It's learning how to consciously choose which task you're going to focus on and then deliberately focus 
on that task. It's important to just focus on one task until it's completely finished. So now you've gone through the seven steps. You understand the definition of time management. That's just a stepping stone. We have a lot more, but I want to thank you for joining me in this exploration of the very basics. And I hope I've answered your question of what is time management. And I believe if you implement these strategies and you watch as your days begin to transform, it's going to bring you closer to achieving the balanced and fulfilling life you do deserve. Remember, every minute counts and you have the power to make the most of them. So I'm Allison Lewis with The 7 Minute Life, helping you make every minute matter. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, hit that notification button, like this video because it helps us grow the channel, and leave a comment below about your biggest time management problem. Leave your questions, and as we go through these series, I'll try to answer those questions and help you along the journey of realizing that you can get more of the right things done. I'll see you in the next video.